They're outflanking us. Another half hour, they'll have the village surrounded. We'll evacuate. Tell Etienne to send two lorries to the hospital and get the wounded away. Right. I'll send the men from the moon to sit in the planks. Give us a bit more time. That's good. One other thing. What about the prisoners? Have to release them. Are you serious? There's no alternative. We could shoot them. No reprisals. It's a waste of time and ammunition. I'll deal with it. As you wish. Stay and fight. You can't, Lou. I can still handle a gun. You can't. Look at you. Anyway, we're pulling out. We'll all be on the move. Please go with them. What about you? I have to go with Dominic and Renard. They need a radio. Shut out. I don't understand. Your friends are nearly here. You're free to go and join them. I don't want to go. I'll stay here. No. Please, I'll help. I'll do anything. Get out! For God's sake, go. What's up? You look like you've seen a ghost. The Germans have invaded La Crest. A paratroop landing. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's bloody brilliant, that is. These poor bastards. They're gonna be wiped out. For once in your life, just once, couldn't you avoid stating the obvious? Don't you think I know all too well what's gonna happen, for God's sake? I'm telling to get the hell out and I'll organize the rear guard. For God's sake, go! They're under attack. Come on.
too late. Well, this is it. Good God. Not many facilities, but uh, not a bad hiding place. The drop was a total success, sir. Took them by surprise. They were completely unprepared. Excellent. Excellent. What about their stronghold, the village? Overrun. A few remnants got away, but most of their men were killed or taken prisoner. Prisoner? There are no prisoners on the crest. Do you understand me? Sir. I want you up there to see that my orders are carried out and show a bit of steel, Metzhofen. Sir. Come. It's happened. What, sir? The Americans have landed on the south coast, just outside Cannes. Well, go on, Metzoffen. You better get on with it. What can I do for you, Dubois? I wish to protest, sir. You wish to protest? You'd better explain yourself. As I fear, the Germans have launched an all-out attack on Lecrest. Yes, we've heard. Well? It's been two weeks since the plans were sent to General de Gaulle. The General is a very busy man, Colonel. The war is not just Lecrest. It may not have escaped your notice that the real liberation of France is taking place in Normandy. I appreciate that, sir, but the fact is we could have prevented what is happening on Le Crest. Our resources are stretched very thin, Dubois. We cannot be everywhere at once. It's criminal that nothing's been done. Those men will simply be butchered. You're getting over-emotional, Dubois. Perhaps you've been working too hard. The General has nothing but the highest praise for the people at Le Crest. But we have got certain priorities. Some more pressing than others. It's about time you understood that. And how is our British agent today? I never realized generals had such vivid imaginations. <laughs> it might interest you to know, my friend, that since this morning, our forces have won complete control of Le Cresse. All resistance there is now dead. And I mean dead. I don't believe you. You may believe what you like. It's true all the same. You have my word. Well, a battle doesn't make a war. As I'm sure you know only too well, General. For a man in your position, Monsieur Gilbert, your confidence seems rather misplaced. I was about to say the same thing to you. Hmm? After all. I wouldn't like to be in your shoes when the Americans get here. We have held on for so long against overwhelmingly superior forces. Despite repeated requests, we have received no support. Nothing. I repeat, nothing. We are now exhausted and almost out of ammunition. We have had no alternative but to pull out and save ourselves as best we can. 
responsibility for this lies with our supposed superiors in London. They alone are to blame for the terrible tragedy which is now being visited on the people of Lucrest. No one here can be blamed for feeling that we have been betrayed from afar by men who are no better than criminals and cowards. Repeat. I'm going to get back to Beaufort. My address is 17 Rue de Poitiers. Can you remember that? Can you put it out on the network that if any of my people or a man called Renard do get out, that they can contact me there? I can't go on. Oh, I could be daft. You leave me here. I don't want to go on. Oh, of course you do. Come on. I'd rather they caught me. I've got it over with. Damn it. You know it. For oh God's sake, who the hell do you think you are? Just leave me alone. There's a stream further down. We're coming with you. No, stay there. Don't worry, I won't be long. Something you'd better have a look at. This message from Adele doesn't make very comfortable reading. Too many home truths. Faith. I'll leave you to it then.
Dankeschön. You must sleep now. Well? We still have a bag of oats, but the cheese and vegetables are in very short supply. We'll have to reduce everyone's rations. What about the Germans? Do we have to feed them? This is a hospital, Luke. We make no distinction. They do. I know. But I can't. As you wish. It's your hospital. Adele! You are still here. Faith, it's good to see you. I'm so glad you could make it. What's the matter? You know what the matter is. Is it our fault if our superiors chose to ignore us? But why? Politics. With the end of the war in sight, they're not about to help an old communist like Renard. Oh, it's so cynical. We should have made an almighty stink. That would have achieved nothing. No, not that important, Faith. I don't understand how you can take it all so calmly. I am as angry as you. I just don't see what else we could have done. Please, don't let it upset you so much. I don't understand you. It's as if you blame me for it. Don't you see? People are dying. People who are our responsibility because we let them down. I can't just shrug that off and pretend that life's the same anymore. My dear, I understand how you feel. You don't. You don't understand a thing. Sorry, I can't bend.
What is it? German reconnaissance. I don't like it. Do you think that... The cave's marked on all the maps. It's an obvious hiding spot. I think it's going. Come on. something. get what you deserve. Sergeant, you know what you have to do. You must leave, madame. My men will escort you. I am a doctor. I will stay with my patients. Very well. As you wish. Stopped. Oh, thank God. Are we nearly there, Papa? Didn't you see, my love? We've made it. Sorry, we should have asked. We haven't eaten for three days. Would you off my farm now? Can we have some water, please? Be quick. I have to think of my family, you understand? The Germans, they've been here twice already. We understand. You're from Saint Michel. Such dreadful happenings. So many killings. You're foreigners, aren't you? We'll be on our way then. No. Look, I'll get you some proper food. Um. You wait in here. Don't come outside. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Yes. What? Well, who is she? I see. Well, you better send her in. Madame, what can I do for you? Good day, General Stuckler. Thank you for seeing me. I gather we have met on a number of occasions. Please but forgive me, General Stuckler. That was a lie to get me in here. Then... Who am I? Well, I could say I was Celeste, a schoolteacher from Normandy, or Colette, a businesswoman from Toulouse, or even Christine, a pharmacist from Lyon. I do not have time for riddles, Madame. Who are you? My name is Elizabeth Granger. For the past three years, I've been working in France as a British spy. I'm also in love with the man Clément, whom you have locked up. I want you to let him go. I'm inclined to say that this is some kind of suicide bid, but you don't look insane to me. I have a proposition to make, one that would require mutual cooperation and mutual trust. Not concepts either of us will find desperately easy to grasp. <laughs> I think perhaps you are insane. So I thought it best to proceed with absolute honesty from the first. A proposition? Release Clement. And I will guarantee you safe conduct to Switzerland, plus a little pile of cash to keep you in cuckoo clocks. I am an officer of the German army, madame. I am not about to desert my post. Not in time of war, no, but the fighting's nearly finished with. The Allies will be here any day. So? Well, your future isn't exactly rosy. The best that you can hope for is a trial, followed by a lengthy prison sentence. The worst. A rougher kind of justice altogether. You have got some nerve, I will say that for you. Perhaps, but I was sure a man in your position would appreciate the truth. But a man in my position does not make deals with British spies. No, not as a rule. But don't you see, General, it's time to tear up the rules. We'll soon be on our own, both of us. This is absurd. Don't dismiss this out of hand. Think about it properly. I'll stay here while you do. Lock me up. I'm a British spy, after all. Lock you up? I could have you shot. Yes, you could. If you decide against it, shoot me, along with the others. But when you do, just remember, you were offered a chance. God! Right. We have to climb that. That's the last bit. And it'll be downhill all the way. Right. Here, give me a case. It's all right, I can manage. Oh. It's a long time getting a bit of bread and cheese together.
In the south of France, American troops under the command of General Patch are advancing on all fronts from their landings near Caen. The force of 300,000 men is now poised to drive up the Rhone Valley towards Beaufort, Lyon, and eventually Paris. We've made continuous sweeps across the plateau using detachments of SS and our own troops. Two spotter planes have been used to flush out the terrorists from the forests. The villages of Saint-Michel, Limon, Labrac, and La Chatte have also been neutralized. Neutralized? Raised to the ground, sir. A total of 314 terrorists have been caught and shot. A further 193 civilians found to have been assisting the rising have been dealt with, sir. I see. It all seems rather academic now, doesn't it? Sir. This? The Americans advancing rapidly? Very good, Metzhoffen. Carry on. And have that woman sent to me, would you? Come on. The general wants to see you. How do I know I can trust you? That's all. How do I know? You don't. It's difficult, isn't it? But I'm sure you've considered the alternatives. Have you? For you, it is the firing squad. Of course. You are an extraordinary woman, madame. Thank you. In another time, another place. The deal. I shall want four million francs. Two million. A new life costs money. Four million. I haven't got four million. Two million. All right, then. Three million. Three million. That'll be fine. And you said you could get me safe conduct papers? Yes. They must be signed by the resistance leadership. Difficult. Take it or leave it. I can give you two days. Two days? In the circumstances, that is generous. If you are who you say you are, you will find a way. I'm sure you can be most persuasive when you want to be. I can't be much further. No. I made it. Just about. <sighs> oh. I want to thank you. I... There's no need. I couldn't have done it without you. Get away with you. You know, there was a time. I know what you're going to say. And I just couldn't stand the sight of you. I oh, know. I wasn't over fond of you either. <laughs> <laughs> You made it. My family are safe. I got a message that I'd find you here. And the others that were with you, are they all right? I don't know. A letter of safe conduct for Stuckler? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. For God's sake, woman, the man's just butchered hundreds of my country people, and you, you want to let him go? If you don't, they'll execute him. It's as simple as that. I'm sorry, it's too high a price. Look, if it's the money you're worried about, I uh, can... That wasn't the price I had in mind. It's just letting him go. After all he's done, the people he's killed? But what would they want, do you think, the people that Stuckler's killed? 
His death or the life of a man like Clement. Look, he's my friend, Rena. I'm sure he's your friend, too. There are some things more important than friendship. Are there? I can't do it. I understand your reasons. But please, 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 I beg you. You've got to help him. Come in. Oh, it's you. We've had a message from Beaufort. From Renard. Renard? He and his family managed to escape from the crest. I'm glad to hear it. What is this message? It's for you. About your son. Jean-Louis? <laughs> what do you know? I'm sorry, Max. He was there. For God's sake, he was there. Max, you mustn't... Blame myself? Is that what you are going to say? Punish myself? You mustn't. Perhaps you can give me a reason. Because it won't bring him back. No. Maybe it's better. Better? My son was a romantic, you know. He believed in old-fashioned values. Glory. Honor, loyalty. The world has moved on. He wouldn't belong now. Conduct signed by the commander of the Beaufort Brigade and myself. Thank you, Renard. You think it's worth it? Don't you? I don't know. After four years of all this, I just can't work it out anymore. The price of a man's life. What about Adele and Luke? We don't know. Well. We made it. Well done. Well done, you too. You got the address. Do you know something?
You're not going to count it, General? Of course not. I trust you implicitly. And the letter? No, you get that when you release my friend. I'd like it now, if you don't mind. No, it's my guarantee that nothing will go wrong. All the same, I would like it now. Otherwise, I won't release him at all. This wasn't the deal. I know. You'll just have to trust me. Difficult, isn't it? Not you. It's your lucky day. be overemphasized the extent to which the Allied breakthrough in France was made possible by the operations of undercover units. I would particularly like to single out the courageous contribution made by our agents and their French comrades of the Maquis in the Lacresse Plateau, where heroic resistance held down elements of three German divisions for a vital period. When the history has come to be written, this episode will count as one of the most decisive successes of the war.